Hey everybody, this is Pastor Bill uh, from Open Door Baptist Church, headed to Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City. Uh, and uh, as I uh, give another mobile word of encouragement uh, today, uh, I am. I just wanted to apologize to begin with that I don't have a cool uh, kind of cat face uh, filter on like that lawyer that everybody's talking about. Uh, if you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, just just go find the, the video of the lawyer with the cat face filter on. Uh, well, anyway, for today's word of encouragement, uh, we're going to take a look actually at the very next uh, paragraph, really coming out of John chapter one. Uh, we looked at John chapter 1, uh, verses 1 and following yesterday, and today we'll pick up with John chapter 1, verse 6. And John chapter 1, verse 6 says, This is the message we have heard from him and proclaimed to you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And then he says this, but if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we have sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And if we say we have not sinned, then we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Well, there, there's a lot of encouragement in those verses, but uh, the highlights, the kind of the, the main peak of encouragement uh, that I want to point out in those verses is that, is that verse, cha uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that we probably have all memorized, or many of us have memorized at some point, that says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You notice there that it, it, it says, if we confess our sins, uh, that just means if we agree with him humbly, in humility, we, we go to him and say, God, you are right, I, I have sinned in, in this. Uh, if we confess our sins, not if we do penance, not if we uh, make amends in some way, right? Not if we just promise, oh, I'll do better next time. No, if we throw ourselves on his mercy and grace, what does it say? It says, he, he is the one who is faithful and just. See, that's the point. We ourselves are not faithful. We have sinned. And if we confess our sins, humbly agreeing with him, then he is the one who is faithful and he cleanses all righteousness. Oh, what could be more encouraging than that? Uh, uh, through that cleansing, he brings us close and intimate uh, into sanctification uh, to be or near him and with him as a loving, faithful, caring, forgiving father. Well, I, I assure you uh, that that verse has carried me through many uh, dark times in my life. I hope it's an encouragement to you too, and I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for another word of encouragement.